Hi everyone and welcome to this drawing video. In this video I'll be showing you how to draw a pumpkin and in this example I'm using a mechanical pencil with HB leads on smooth bristol board paper. I'm also using a blending stick but you don't have to if you don't want to, uh, it's just how I like to smooth some of the shading. I'm also using a small eraser to help add some highlights later on as well. Um, but please don't worry too much about the equipment you're using, as long as you have a pencil and paper in front of you you'll be able to create something like this. I started off by sketching a very rough round outline of the pumpkin, just getting an idea of the overall shape. Um, it doesn't have to be exact on both sides or symmetrical in any way. Uh, pumpkins grow in all different natural random shapes and sizes, so you don't have to worry too much about that. And once I was happy with how that rough outline was looking, I then added all of the folds in the surface of the pumpkin. I also added a very basic stalk, um, again this can be in any random shape and I added the details of the pumpkin's face. Once the outlines had been sketched, it was time to move on to the shading, and for the shading I imagined that the light source was coming in from the left, and so all of the shading would be placed in, uh, with that in mind. Um, so on the right side of each section of the pumpkin I was adding shading inside that fold, um, and then fading it outwards, adding some extra shadows and folds where I wanted them, and then accompanying that with a highlight by using the small eraser. It was really nice to see the effect of the shading taking place as I worked my way across each section of the pumpkin, making sure to have that contrast with the shaded areas between each fold and then having the highlighted areas especially on the left side. Once I'd added all the shading across the pumpkin's surface, it was then time to add the shading to the details of the face. I wanted to make sure I added some of the inside details of the pumpkin carving, uh, just to help with the 3D effect of this drawing. Um, so I, I made sure to add that while I was working on th these details. I also wanted to have the inside of the pumpkin extremely dark, so I added the darkest shading I could. Um, just to help show up those details of the face as well, um, having that contrast between the light surface texture of the pumpkin and the inner dark shading that really helps to show up the details of the face. Once the details of the face have been shaded, it is then time to work on the shading of the pumpkin stalk. And this just required adding long strips of dark shading and highlighting. Um, obviously the surface of a pumpkin stalk is very rough and is very angular, it has lots of sharp edges. So having lots of sharp lines of shading and highlighting really helps to represent that. After that, as a final touch to this drawing, just to show that the pumpkin is sitting on a surface, I added a little shadow underneath. Um, after that the drawing was completed, and overall it took about an hour and a half to complete, and I think it's a really fun drawing to work on, especially with Halloween just around the corner. I really hope this video is helpful in some way, and be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoy videos like this then make sure to subscribe, and any likes or shares are always hugely appreciated, it means so much to me. If you want to follow along with the progress photos that I post through the week, and keep up to date with what I'm working on, then be sure to check out the links in the description box below to check out my Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And once again, thank you so much for the support on this channel, I can't wait to work on some more drawings. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon.